Thanks for your break, Power Falcons. I'm Callie. And I'm Gia. And this is our second episode of Fly TV. I don't, but it seems pretty difficult. It does, but our fire animators are masters at it. Well, let's go check it out with Tina and Ramesh. Falcons, have you ever wondered where your favorite Disney movies have been made? Disneyland. Disneyland? Yeah. Not Disneyland, but I'm talking about movies like Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, or maybe even Coraline. Today we're going to see how animated movies are made and where you've seen them. So I have been in technology all of my life and I think I just kind of fell into it, but the more I do it, the more interesting it is and the more fun it is and I love to watch the kids create the projects. The first thing that we do in any animation class is go over the basic 12 principles of animation because unless you know that foundation, you can't animate anything. So we went from that and now we are on the um, Digicel Flipbook, which is a 2D animation and the, the students are learning how to put those frames in and those layers in to show that the animation and how to draw to make that look like it's moving. I just like the idea of doing art digitally. My goals for this class are to, um, by the end of the year, to learn how to be like a really good animator. My favorite project was this bouncing ball animation that we had to do, and we used squash and stretch to do it. That's all for now, Falcons. See you next time. Wow, our fellow animators have a lot up their sleeve. They definitely do. Wow, I can't wait to see what else they come up with. Hey, Callie, do you remember anything about football season? Not really. Hey there, Falcons. I'm Atihana. I'm Ira. And I'm Jamie. And today we're going to be looking at some of the highlights from our football season. We're also going to be interviewing some of the players and some of their thoughts of the season so far. I played wide receiver. I mainly just like running and catching. Offense, I play wide receiver, and I decided to play it because like it's kind of fun, like just being able to catch the ball and score a touchdown. And then on defense, I play quarterback, and it's good because you can get like interceptions. I'm wide receiver, and I uh, so I did it just because I didn't want to be a lineman again. I'm a wide receiver because um, I'm not exactly the biggest, so I can't really be a lineman. So my position in football is uh, outside linebacker and inside receiver. Well, they teach us to play, so it goes in our brain just to what to run at what times, and that helps with memory when I think about it. I didn't really play wide receiver at first, but when the coaches put me in wide receiver, I got better at pretty much everything I do now. Um, we've been practicing a lot of this, uh, on the stuff that I haven't really been good at, so like, they've been, I've been practicing on my running, on my tackle form. When this kid got ran over. When Denzel had like a really big run and then he fumbled it and picked it right back up. So my favorite memory from the season was when we were on the bus and Coach Sprott hit um, the Clark sign on the way there and it hit our bus and now it's like tilted. Um, probably when we versed Trent and we almost and I almost scored a touchdown in a kick return. That's all for the football segment. Back to you, anchors. Wow, it looks like the football team had a great season this year. They definitely did. Thank you, Tavian, and Atiana, and Eros for telling us all about it. Hey, fellow fuckers. Have you ever read a book? Duh. All right, well, let's go check out Miss Madden's reading group with Ket Key and Darshik. Hey there, Falcons. I'm Darshik, and I'm Ket Key. True or false, is Miss Madden's reading group the best in the school? Let's go check it out.
You know, it's a good question. Last year we were doing grammar on Tuesdays for flight time, and I wanted to add something more to it to get the, the students to come in more often and came up with this idea of cross-curricular fiction story reading. The students like to hear their teachers read, which is amazing. Um, and so I just decided I'd find a fiction book for science, a fiction book for social studies, and a fiction book for math. And right now we're reading the science book, uh, which is about jellyfish. Every week the class is packed. I'm surprised. They come in, I read for about 20 minutes of the flight time, and the rest of the time they quietly work on what they need to work on. So uh, I like visiting Ms. Madden's um, reading clubs every Thursday uh, because they're always filled with interesting stories and I'm able to learn new information. So it's just really fun. Like I always liked listening to other people read stories because, you know, it made me feel happy that other people were reading stories. Um, I feel really comfortable around my friends and the teachers, and I like to listen to the teacher read because I find comfort in it. Uh, it's very relaxing to have someone read to you, and you can, norm and you can identify things that you wouldn't really uh, catch when you're reading by yourself. I probably like sci-fi and fantasy the best, but I like realistic fiction too. My personal favorite genres are fantasy and sci-fi and realistic fiction because you can get very creative with them. If you too want to join Ms. Madden's reading room, make sure to go to room 707 every Thursday, Ms. Madden's room, at flight time. I will definitely be joining. Speaking of reading, have you ever read about volleyball and how to play? Not really. Well, let's go visit Volleyball Highlights, the previous seasons, and pick out game highlights with Skokshin and Hennis. Hey Falcons, the volleyball season was amazing this year. The pink out game also happened recently to support Mrs. Clark during breast cancer awareness. Let's go check out some of the games, coaches, and players. A. B. I'm on 18. I'm also on 18. A. <laughs> I'm I think they're just like very supportive. When you make a mistake, they're just trying to help you. That they're very encouraging and they motivate me to play better. They never give up on us and they always show us like how to be better people every day, not just like in the court but also off the court. Probably just recently when I got put to Libero. Oh, winning our first game. It was the game against Stafford. Winning as a team and when you play your best and everyone else plays your best and you're just all having a really good game. Uh, I thought we had a great season. I know um, our record isn't exactly what uh, the girls wanted it to be, but man, they have grown so much. I was seeing the girls excited for the, the great things that they did. teaching and giving other kids that experience as well. And that wraps up the volleyball season filled with great memories and we can't wait to have Miss Clark back. Back to you anchors. That's all for today Falcons. Have a wonderful Monday.